Hey guys, Gore here. Welcome back to the channel. Squad has just had another round of testing over the weekend for the much anticipated 2.12 patch. With it comes some new gameplay changes like the capture scaling, which will absolutely shift the way people play. But the main focus from much of the player base has been the lighting and shadows changes in addition to a couple fan favorite maps receiving a much needed visual and geographical touch up. Now, I've already covered all the changes in this update, so if you're looking to find out what's new, check out this video in the top right of your screen. Today's video, on the other hand, is a quick update and discussion about when you and I can expect this update to drop, along with a few changes that have come since the previous two playtests. Those of you thinking that 2.12 is dropping before Christmas or before New Year can think again. The OWI dev team takes the holiday off, as they damn well should, and don't enforce the industry standard of crunch time where other game companies force their teams to work insanely long hours to meet deadlines. As many of us know, new squad updates, regardless of how much QA and testing was done, oftentimes comes with a handful of new and sometimes game-breaking bugs. Like with the V2 update this past February, where we had invincible MEA hat kits, armor mesh bugs leading to unkillable tanks, and the logistics bug that still haunts me to this day. With this in mind, dropping an update right before the team has time off would likely lead to new bugs, both big and small, being left untouched, which would be terrible for both parties. So if the update isn't coming before the new year, when is it coming? Since I don't have any insider info, all I can do is take my best guess based on my previous experiences with the update cycle of squad. With the lighting and shadows changes, many people have already noted that with their current PC specs, squad may become unplayable. While this is not the team's intention to ostracize any players, I think we all know that it will affect some. And with this in mind, I can guess that with this update specifically, they're trying anything and everything to minimize the players that they'll lose. Thus, I can see one more round of playtesting after implementing a few new changes from the past one, followed by another few weeks of ironing things out and QA testing, which puts the new update, in my opinion, set to come out mid to late February. I hope it drops then at the latest, but new issues come up every day, so who knows when we might get 2.12. Moving on, I did want to gloss over a few notable changes that have been made as a result of the first and second 2.12 playtest back in October. The biggest standout change that I noticed was them adding new Yeho, Gordok, and Narva Rass layers, which are much more randomized with these layers now using a regular Rass flag lattice instead of a Rass lanes flag lattice, making games far less predictable and having far more variable compared to previous rounds. This is something I hope to see for every map in the game, as Rass is the most commonly played game mode on squad, yet the game mode isn't true to the random in its name. The next change I wanted to highlight, while most may not care, is the decrease in volume and intensity when any vehicle gets its engine disabled. Currently, the volume is louder than standing next to an MBT firing its main cannon and was painful to listen to. The reason I'm pointing this one out is because the change was made from a feedback post that I submitted in the squad discord where I included this video. He's driving up right now. Oh my god, that was way too fucking loud. I hate this game. It's so disproportionate. I just wanted to show that while feedback is not often responded to, and I'm not excusing the poor communication in the slightest, the team does see and listen to the feedback the community is giving, at least sometimes. A few other notable changes include exploding vehicles now damaging nearby infantry, so now if you're within 10 meters when a vehicle is destroyed, you'll be dealt damage based off your proximity. I do not know how close you have to be for the damage to be lethal. Also with explosive damage, infantry that are located in open top turrets of vehicles will now receive damage based on the explosive's visibility, so explosives that happen above the turret will damage or kill the gunner. There are also several changes coming to various kits, like the rearm cost of AT4s, Carl Gustav and M3 Maz heat rounds decreasing to 35 ammo while their damage is being nerfed to be in line with other lat weapons. Those are all the ones that I deemed worthy of a little extra attention. If you want to look through the rest, I'll leave a link to the change notes down in the description. Squad has never been punctual when it comes to updates, so let me know down below your thoughts on the changes and when you think we might see 2.12 drop. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'm out.